In this video, we're going to draw a chipmunk. I found this photo online and I thought it was so cute. It's eating the acorn with the chubby cheeks, but it is showing the side face, so we will change that up in the drawing. Now, without too much talking, let's jump right onto the drawing. I start with a big circle for the head and draw an acorn right under the head. The acorn looks like an upside down water drop. Then I draw a small circle next to the acorn for the leg and another leg on the other side under the acorn. On the right side of the body, I'm drawing a big swirl for the tail and next to the big swirl, I add the volume around it to make a big puffy tail. Now I'm dividing the face into four pieces to know where to draw the eyes, nose, and mouth and drawing three scallops on both sides of the face to make the chubby furry cheeks. And I connect them nicely to the face. At the top, I'm drawing two round ears. Going back to the face, I'm drawing the nose and a smiley mouth with the teeth. Between the cheek and nose, I'm drawing the eyes. It's not a circle, it looks more like a window with the arch at the top. Now I'm drawing the guideline for the color blocks. It is like a small letter M. The arch starts at the side face and stops at the nose. I also give a nice fur texture on the forehead. Going down, I'm drawing the arms holding to the acorn and details of the acorn. We've drawn a lot, so let's erase the practice lines before adding more details. I'm drawing three eyelashes on both sides, then I'm drawing a big circle for the iris. And I draw a small circle for the pupil, and a smaller circle at the corner for the highlight. Then I fill in the pupil to look more like an eye. Going up, I'm drawing the inner ears. Maybe the acorn can be a little taller to cover the face a little more. And I draw the fingers and toes. All the pencil sketches are done, so let's clean up the drawing again before moving on to the permanent marker. I'm using a thick marker to draw the outlines.
I'm switching to a pen to draw the iris and the color block on the face. All the black outlines are done, so let's erase all the pencil sketches to move on to the coloring. Fast forwarding the coloring part, this is how I colored. I used orange to color the partial body and left the rest of the body white. And I colored the inner ear pink and added a blush on the cheek for the extra cuteness. I colored the eyes yellow green. I used a light brown and dark brown to color the acorn. I used a pen to draw the eyebrow, fingers, and toes because I forgot doing that at the black outline stage. After the coloring part was done, I decided to add a very simple lighting to pop out the drawing even more. So I grabbed a very light gray to add a shadow around the edges. And then I added the juicy highlights with a white pen and a white paint marker.